Good morning and welcome to episode 78 of Morningcraft. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of work on the village, as I feel some parts of it are a little bit empty. So grab a drink, get comfortable, and let's get started. So I started off by gathering a whole bunch of wood, and I was going to need this for all the building that I planned to do in this episode, so I made sure to take down all of our dark oak trees, and then replant them as I went. And I decided I was going to work on this back section of the village here, so I started off by laying some pathways. And I had to reorganise them a bit, and I found a few holes underneath the dirt. I then began to lay out the foundations for the two new buildings, and I added small farms to each of these, so that the villagers would be able to feed themselves. And with the first farm in, it was time to work on the second building. So I took down the previous lava generator I built, and I laid in the farm for the second building. And then I placed a bit of wool in for the walls, and then I planted a mighty birch tree in the centre of the village. This is pretty similar to the one that we have in the castle, and I really think it breaks up the area. I then laid in the wool for the walls. And then I got to work on the second floor for each of these buildings. I laid in a rough structure for the second floor, and I wanted each of these to have a nice balcony to watch the sun rise from. For this farm I wanted to go for a little bit of a different design, so I added some leaves overhanging, like vines. I imagine this would be sort of a mini vineyard, so that they can make maybe their own wine, or something of that sort. And with the fences in, the balcony was complete, and it was time to add the walls for the second floors. I then added a nice slab roof onto each of the buildings. And then I began to play around with some ways of holding lava using signs, and this was going to be incredibly important for the build next episode, as I'm going to build a tank to store all of our lava, and I'm going to build a better lava generator. And this is possible now because I have an infinite iron source, so I can build plenty of cauldrons. I tested it out and the signs work, but don't worry, it's going to look a lot better than this, as I tweak the design as I go. Also walked into it to see what happened. I then added a final farm here next to the watchtower. And I added a couple composters so that the villagers could feed themselves. And there we have it, two new buildings for the village and it really fills in the area. So thank you so much for watching, we've added these two new houses with balconies, and we've added a few more farms for the villagers. So thank you for watching, I hope you've had a good morning, and I'll see you in the next episode of Morningcraft. Craft.